What's up guys, Pixels to Life here and I'm very excited to bring you the first video in what promises to be one of the most extensive tutorial series that I have ever done. This will be several videos, I don't even know how many videos this is going to be. It's so highly requested that I couldn't ignore it anymore and that is an extensive Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial series, we will be starting at the ground level, um, showing you how to do basic things within Photoshop, and then eventually working our way up to designing YouTube backgrounds and websites and other things that Photoshop can do. So in this series, you can expect to learn how to do basic things like photo retouching and blending um, and some other more advanced things like creating user interface elements such as buttons and uh, menus and then up to the more advanced stuff like creating a web design layout so again this is going to be an extremely extensive tutorial in many 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 parts so without further ado let's jump right into it in this first video I'm going to be walking you through the user interface of Photoshop now I will say that I'm using Photoshop CS4 um, on Windows so if you're using a different version of Photoshop whether it's earlier or newer and, and or using a Mac your options will be a little bit different um, but I expect that you should be able to follow along um, pretty closely uh, no matter what version you're using unless it's an extremely er early version of Photoshop in which case you may have trouble following along in this tutorial series so the first thing that we're going to look at is your menu bar up here uh, you have several options and there are some very powerful tools up here that you can use um, to create quick effects for your composition um, of course the file that will give you all of your options for your composition such as um, saving um, opening closing that kind of thing and uh, I'm not going to get too much into this menu options um, I'll let you guys explore that for yourselves and we'll also be utilizing this a lot throughout this tutorial series as we'll be doing with all of the elements of Photoshop so again I just want to give you the basics um, this is your menu toolbar here um, this right here is an option that you should familiarize yourself with and it is your um, workspace uh, options they have tons and tons of defaults uh, set up in here the one that you're probably seeing is this one as you see my um, panels changed quite a bit here I have a custom one created and I will show you how to do that in a later video but uh, basically this just gives you some preset options based on uh, what you might be doing here you have a painters layout um, so it caters to someone who does a lot of painting and um, art from scratch so mess with that look through that and see which one works best for you or create a custom one if you want which I have done here the next little bar here is your tools option bar so if you um, go over here to your tools panel and you start selecting different tools uh, this menu will change and give you the presets that you have available to edit for each specific tool so you will be using that a lot within this series uh, and speaking of options for your tools this is the tools panel everything uh, every tool that you have available to you is in this panel um, you've got your selection tools here everything from your rectangular and, and elliptical marquee tools um, to your crop tool those are all selection tools right there um, then you have your painting and uh, blending tools here so the paint bucket gradient brush tools um, your rubber stamp uh, other things like that and then also your blending tools like the smudge um, and lighting effects uh, like burn and dodge and sponge so again I find that the best way to learn is just using the tools and um, using trial and error to um, sort of teach yourself how each of these works 
Um, moving right along, you have your um, creative tools, so your pen tool, your, your text tools, and also your vector shapes tools. So those are extremely powerful tools that you will be utilizing throughout the series. And then you have some just miscellaneous options like uh, your 3D, uh, 3D and uh, orbit tools, also your hand tool and your zoom tool, which is uh, which will come in handy later. Then you have your background and foreground colors that you can um, change, obviously, to any color that you want within the color wheel. Um, and so the front one is the foreground and the back one is the background pretty self-explanatory there then you have your quick mask tool which allows you to reveal and hide different elements of your composition um, so again the tools we will be working with throughout the series and you'll become more and more familiar with these as we go along over here on the right side you have your um, workflow panels uh, I have quite a few of them here and I find that the layers palette the history panel and the uh, navigator panel are extremely vital to what I do um, and you may find it different um, but for now we will leave that at what it is you can go into this window option in your uh, in your menu bar and toggle on and off different um, panels within Photoshop uh, also each of these panels if it has this black bar um, or if they're just these little um, selections they can be moved within their palette or they can be moved to different palettes and um, also, if anytime you have this dark black bar, that means that this can be disconnected and float within Photoshop, such as this, or it can be moved to a different area. If you see the little blue bar pops up here, that means that's a place where I can place that. And then, as you see there, it's become one, and I can obviously split that off by itself by grabbing these little dotted lines here. And then I can move these elements into different areas. Um, let's say if you wanted your workflow to just be the opposite of the one that I have you can do that and voila you're good to go um, you can also place panels at the bottom of the screen as well um, but that's more of an individual basis you see I'll take this tab and man, bam there it is at the bottom of your workflow so I'm gonna get back to my default here um, and get that all set back up but that is your basic walkthrough of the user interface and I know this is kind of a boring video but trust me guys this is gonna be well worth watching especially if you are new to Photoshop so please come along with me for this tutorial series I'm gonna be putting in tons and tons of work and uh, I'll be releasing um, weekly videos maybe two a week um, just to keep your guys interest and keep the tutorials moving now however if I get 50 likes on any individual video I will release the next video in the series the day after so um, this video is going to be going up today obviously Thursday and if I get 50 likes um, by Friday I will put out the new video the next day which would be Saturday so if you guys want to see um, these tutorials uh, quicker then make sure to like favorite and share the video um, and I will uh, do my absolute best to get these tutorials out as quickly as possible so guys I look forward to doing this series with you and I hope you guys are looking forward to learning and I will see you next time peace